Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the Kia Sportage. This is the 2020 version, four-wheel drive, 1.6 liter petrol engine. You are probably wondering why I reviewed this too late. Uh, before Kia bring the new Sportage in 2022? And the answer is because I think this is a great option for a city SUV, compact SUV in 2021. Also, it has a great discount, a lot of premium features. It's spacious, it has a lot of space and also good quality. You will see in the moment, I will give you the technical detail. I will show you the interior, exterior, everything. In this video, I will review this Kia Sportage and at the end of the video, you will find out everything about this Sportage. Also guys, if you're new on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see all the new notifications when a new video come on my channel. Also, if you wanna see the test drive with Kia Sportage, stay close to the channel because it will come soon. Uh, probably it's already there. Uh, not sure about that, you have to check it out. Uh, also guys, I'm right here in Switzerland. If you are from Switzerland, around Switzerland, at Emil Frey in Bern uh, Garage. I will leave the link in the description so you can check them out. Uh, you can check out the price if you wanna buy the car. Uh, I think you will you will probably have to see it because it has a huge discount. I will give you right now the technical detail. So uh, yeah, guys, let me give you the technical detail. Then we will make uh, exterior, interior as always. Um, so first of all, guys, uh, I want to tell you that this is uh, the, the version 1.6 TGDI is the style version, by the way. It comes with a 1.6 liter, 177 horsepower, 265 newton meter, if I remember well. It comes also with this seven speed dual clutch automatic. Uh, then it comes with four cylinders in line. It's an all wheel drive, as I told you before. The consumption of the car around 8.9, you can see it right here. Also the weight of the car, 1,802 kilograms, 203 CO2 emission. F class, it's not a brand new car. That's why you will see down here, you have a huge discount. Of course, at 5,800 kilometers, it's a brand new car. I mean, uh, it looks new, it smells new, uh, and you will see it in a moment. Anyway, it's a new car and you have a huge discount, 11,925. If you come here at Emil Frey, just check them out, guys. If you wanna uh, buy it or if you wanna see this car, it's a great price, trust me. So uh, the starting price, it's 42,900 francs. With all the options, they will add it 825. And at the end, you will see it, with this discount will be 32,100 francs, amazing price. I will add it also in the dollar if you wanna make an idea about that. And then here are the options. I will show you also as we go in the video in a second. I guess those are uh, almost all information. Uh, for the beginning guys now we will make the interior exterior and then um, yeah we will make a conclusion in the end okay before we go forward i want to give you some extra technical data about the car for example in the front we have mcpherson suspension with anti-roll bar uh, coil spring also in the back multi-link coil spring anti-roll bar as well in the both side the ground clearance of the car 70.2 uh, centimeters it's pretty good I like very much the ground clearance of the car it's pretty high uh, and nice also uh, the rims right now that you see it right here 17 inch rims I will get it a little bit bigger I think they are kind of smaller for the size of the car and they look a little bit yeah I don't know not so fancy of course they are great for the winter they are great for the comfort because you have a lot of gum but for the look of the car I will totally go with something bigger. Uh, another thing that I want to tell you, 0 to 100 km, 9.1 second, maximum speed 200 kilometers. Those are probably important for you to know. And yeah, other than that, we can start the review also with the exterior design first time. So you can see a little bit the shape of the car. Probably you already see it because it's not a brand new car. Uh, overall, it's a beautiful shape. I like the lines, I like the back of the car, I like that they use LED lights. The front of the car, I'm not a big fan of the front of the car, but the back look really, really good. Overall, yeah, pretty nice shape. Now, let's go forward and let's start with the lights here in the front. And also, I want to tell you that here in the front, you have LED lights on the daylight, LED light on the turning signals, and also you have LED light on the high and low beam. From this point of view, 
the lights are awesome. If you go down here on the fog lamps, you will see you have a normal bulb light inside there, but they are kind of uh, diffused from, from that glass there. So you can see also from the distance, from this angle, a little bit better. So typical for Kia, it looks nice, simple and practical. I mean, in terms of light, they are really practical in the nighttime. You have good visibility. I like very much the mirrors. They look the same as the new Hyundai Tucson. I like the white combination with the black here on the down part, LED lights also uh, right here on the side. Then you can see big mirrors, so you have great visibility from the interior. I will show you when you go inside. Here in the back, guys, you can see the taillights, LED light. They look really good, really modern and nice. Also, you have this strip of red, uh, kind of a red design. It's not a light there or something like that, but it just looks nice. Overall, with the car, look pretty nice. Look at this. Another thing that this Sportage look the same as the new Hyundai Tucson is the fact that they add the fog lamps down here and also the turning signals. And they are not LED light. They are normal bulb light, as you can see right here. I'm not sure why they do that. I know people complain about this thing, but still, it's not a big deal, in my opinion. On the other side, the same story. Also the reverse light, it's also on the other side, so you can see a little bit better from this angle. Also on the number plate here, it is normal bulb light. Probably in the future on the new uh, Sportage, we will see also LED lights here. We will see a little bit different design. You have a reverse camera right here. I will show you also from the interior. Very useful, that comes with the car. Also down here, the down part of the bumper look really sporty. Some kind of air diffuser here. Uh, I like this design very much, the way they design it. Also, they hide the exhaust pipes somewhere under on the right side there. And it's much better like that. Some light reflectors here, very useful in the night. Chrome design added uh, in the back. So overall, the back part look nice. Also, you have four parking sensors here in the back. Very helpful. Also, you have the Sportage style, so you know which version it is writing here in the back, the Kia logo badge in the middle. You have a wiper here on the back. Kia have seven year warranty. So this is impressive. I mean, which car on the market today give you seven year warranty? This is crazy. Also, the roof spoiler here looks super spectacular. I like very much the shape of it. I like how big it is and it extend here on the exterior. Also nice lip up here, a little bit of black glossy on the, on the left side. On the right side, overall beautiful roof spoiler in my opinion. Also the radio antenna looks super nice. The same color as the car. Roof rails in gray. They add this chrome around the windows and they look really nice in combination with the handles that they have also chrome on the upper side. Also, if you go down here, you can see another chrome line added on the down part of the car. And this plastic down here, it's very useful. It protects the car from scratch, from stones in time from all kinds of debris. Also here around the wheel, the same story, same plastic to protect the car. Going forward in the front, the same story, plastic around the wheels and super useful. Also this area, usually a lot of rust occur, but with this plastic, you will never have problem. Many, many years. No wonder why they give you seven years warranty on Kia. So amazing. Uh, I like that four wheel drive badge here, so you know, it's a four-wheel drive. It's quite nice. With the better rims, with the bigger rims, uh, the car will look just fine. Now, going in the front, also, the hood here look a little bit like the new Ford Puma. Uh, if you remember the shape, I also review it on my channel if you want to see it. Also, this shape here on the hood, Kia badge. Then you have this classic front grille from Kia. Pretty nice. Uh, simple glossy plastic with air intakes there. Here you have also an air intakes on the side. I know if you can see it from the video, but the air will go inside here and then we'll go outside around the wheels, uh, helping the aerodynamic of the car. Then the same four parking sensors in the front, very helpful. And then down here, another air intakes and another same design as in the back, kind of a air diffuser. What is in the back there? Uh, this is also very similar. Overall, simple design clean here on the windshield you can see it comes with a camera this is for lane assist reading the traffic speed limit because the car can do that as well 17 inch wheels ventilated brake discs in the front and then if you go in the back you can see you have only brake discs not ventilated but yeah overall they are nice also look at this a lot of gum on these 17 inch uh, wheels that mean you have great comfort over the bumps and yeah Nice. I don't know if you observe, 
but the engine it started right now and it's so silent i can't even hear it i'm super impressed with how silent it is this engine you don't even notice that it started so from this point of view i like it here on the driver's side you have also the tank the petrol tank it's great to have it on your side this is the key simple key i like how they add those buttons on the side here lock unlock and also open the trunk but this model here doesn't come with automatic lift gate uh, i think you can get it as an option but if you lock the car you can see it comes with electronic folding mirrors so that's nice and they work really fast electronics on this kia sportage work really good even the the seats are electric you will see it in a moment also you have an led light here in the handle yeah anyway i will leave the key here and i will open the front so you can see also the engine um i start the engine right now and then look how easy it is to open that you have a button here and open it up it's a manual lift gate here so it's not automatic keep in mind this is the engine 1.6 liter tgdi 177 horsepower 265 newton meters pretty classic array uh, for kia i just want to show you as i said manual lift gate here in the back you have to open it up uh, manually but once you're here uh, you can see it has a place for the button so i think you can get it as an option also the automatic lift gate you have handles up here i like this protection it's pretty simple to adjust take it out put it up the way you want it pretty huge entrance as i said at the beginning of the video the car it's it's pretty pretty practical i like how big is the entrance so you can see for yourself right here huge entrance uh, in the back also on the right side you have some hooks uh, you have also a normal bulb light down here you have a flat floor some kind of plastic at the entrance some storage space here on the right side uh, also you have the speaker here in this area and then the floor because i know you're curious what is under the floor surprisingly you have a spare tire right here and yeah plenty of space to put your uh, medical kit repair kit or whatever you want to put here so that's quite nice also you have still a small space inside those holes right here so pretty nice that's the space i will take also this out and then we will fold out the seats so you can make an idea uh, about the space but overall uh, it is super super spacious in my opinion pretty practical now i just take out that protection and the thing is that you cannot fold down the seats from here from the trunk uh, you will have to go here inside and you have this handle you press it like that and then they are folded and also they are fast right here that's a great thing i mean the way they fold it down it's in the perfect way uh, it's a little bit disadvantage because you have to come here on the both side and then you can fold it down i find out that the doors quality it's incredible good because they add a lot of rubber on the side you can hear it so the the quality of the doors is quite good also look at this incredible space look at this how big entrance you have how much space you have inside here uh, also you can see that you have uh, almost completely 99 percent flat floor here let me put this on the side just like that so you can make an idea look at this incredible i mean it's a flat floor here practicality it's just perfect you can put wherever you want here without any problem so I'm, I'm quite impressed to see the size of the of the car and then to see how much space you have there it's incredible because when you look from from the exterior from this angle you will see that the car it looks quite compact and the way they design the things here it's it's quite nice now if i go here on the side you can make an idea about the entrance in the car it's huge the fact that they add the windows here on the door it's incredible how much space you have and how big it's the entrance in the car it's just fabulous i mean huge huge entrance you have to see these guys um, then going here you can make an idea one more time the way it looks there also down here on the legs room you have some storage space the transmission tunnel is not so big so overall uh, very practical space here very practical great job now I will put everything back and then we will continue in, in the interior guys.
All right, guys, here on the seats, another cool thing is that you can adjust the seats and fix it in what position you want. For example, this is the straight up position, the first position of the seat that you can have it. And that there is the last position on your back. So check this out. Can you imagine that? How big of a difference is here? And you can see from the back here, if you make an idea, it's incredible nice. And you have to pull this, you need two hands. Look at this. You can almost slip here. I mean, look at this. It's incredible. It's incredible how much you can fold the seats on the back. It's just crazy. Here, as you can see, two huge windows. Uh, they split it in two in order to fold it down. This, uh, this one here, the visibility from the interior you will see in the moment. It's amazing. And the fact that it's big, as I said, uh, they don't keep any window right here on the body of the car. That means you have also a huge entrance in the car, so great design. Doors on the upper side here, you have plastic, but a nice trim if you look closely. Handle here in chrome, uh, in this area also plastic. Here, where it's really matter, you have soft leather uh, with white stitches, I like that. Glossy plastic here on the handle, then you have the buttons. I like the buttons, the way they design it, and also it feels quite nice. Heated seats, two position heated seats for the passengers in the back. That's another great thing. Some storage space here, speaker, and also some kind of plastic at the entrance in the car. So overall, nice. I mean, it's okay. It's practical, it's simple, nothing crazy fancy, but, but the practicality and the space here, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but it is big. I mean, it's huge. It's huge. It looks really impressive how big space you have here. Behind the front seats, you have stuff material, some storage space. Um, also here in the middle, you have these vents, guys. So you can see normal, simple vents. Uh, and down here, you have a 12 volt port. Of course, I wish it was also some USB ports, much more useful. Also the transmission tunnel, it's not so big, smaller than uh, most of the cars. Then going to the seats on the style version, you have these fabric material seats. They are simple, they are practical. Side support also here in the middle, they are soft enough so you don't have some back pain and stuff like that. Also here they are wide and long enough. ISO fix for child, you can install two child seats in the back here. Also in the middle, they look quite flat. So I think three people here in the back can stay without any problem. Also folding down this middle part, you have two cup holders, yeah, quite, quite nice. Also soft and uh, practical. Let me go inside. All right, let's see how much space we have here. Closing the door. Yes, pretty nice. Let me stay in the normal position. So you can make an idea, I have 173 centimeters. So you can make an idea. Yeah, <laughs> you, can, you can judge for yourself uh, about the space also. I can stretch my legs under the front seat. Plenty of, of space on my head, huge space, to be honest. It's incredible spacious for the size uh, of the car. And the seats in the front, guys, they are adjusted in my driving position. So overall, it's just, it's just perfect, perfect. Check this out. Visibility on the, on the windows, it's incredible because you have this big window in the back here and also big window here. Great visibility, no problem. And also the comfort is nice. Uh, you have this soft material where your arm it is. And overall, quite nice. And also the fact that you can fold the seats almost all over on the back. You can, you can look at this, look at my legs, look at my position. You can almost sleep here. I mean, even for many, many kilometers, it's super relaxing and super nice. You have a handle up here hook, also soft material up here in the middle, normal bulb light, no LED, maybe in the new version will be LED. Uh, yeah, going in the middle, it's super easy because the transmission tunnel is small, also you can stay somehow with your legs together if you want to. Uh, now here, the space is a little bit less on the right side, bigger here on my driver position. This one, it's too much in the back, I forget to adjust it. You can see for yourself right there that you have huge space. Usually it should stay much more in the front, uh, but yeah, anyway, plenty of space on my head. Stretch my hand completely and also in this side completely. So three people here, look at this, 
no problem no problem and also down here it's a little bit stiffer also on my back but i still can stay here without any problem yeah it's, it's, it's okay it's nice i like it we will go in the front guys and i will explain you everything about the dashboard the cockpit yeah and about everything overall it's a nice design i mean if you look from here from this angle you can see pretty clean pretty nice that left you with a lot of good visibility yeah good taste the way they design this dashboard there it's it's pretty nice let's go in the front with the door here one big windows from one pieces i like that that means good visibility on the doors we have soft material this time in the front part right here it's soft everywhere everywhere in this area then you have a speaker small speaker handle here in chrome here you have plastic in this area soft and leather in this part with really matter glossy plastic i like the way they integrate those things here it looks really nice you can see the buttons super super fancy uh, I like them also lock and unlock, lock the windows, electrically adjustable, left and right. You can also fold the mirrors from down here. Kind of okay, the space here, it's quite reasonable. It, they can make it a little bit bigger, but it's quite okay. The speaker, big speaker here, so you have two speakers on the front door. Also some kind of plastic at the entrance, normal pedals right there. And then here you have the, the fuse box right here. Now, as I said before, the seats in the front come with electric adjustment and they work really good and really fast. I tested before, I like them. The seats in the front as in the back, you have these fabric material seats. So you can see from this angle, they look nice. Pretty nice design. Also, they have side support, much more uh, robust than in the back. It's pretty big, pretty wide. Also, good quality here in the middle. Push should don't have any problem. Uh, with the seats they look really good also if you look at the dash you see it before here on the dash you have these vans also they feel nice as you touch it pretty smooth when you move those things here also with the rubber uh, chrome around it here you have the lane assist you have start and stop button the brightness of the screen and also the lights position and then if you look here you have soft material from here up everywhere soft material on the dashboard I like that also another speaker there on the dash overall pretty simple good quality close the door I like the way the doors are as I said before closing the door a lot of cars pass by here as well and I don't know if you can make an idea but sound is okay at least here when you stay in, in the same space we will see in the test drive how is the noise uh, from outside now going here visibility around the windows as i said as expected it's more than perfect great visibility around the windows no problem in terms of visibility you can see one more time the seats in the back you can make an idea there here in the middle you have soft material some kind of stitches actually this is leather nice huge space here one of the biggest space in the middle here that i ever seen really big here a space for your key it's actually perfect this space i like how easy you can leave your key here two cup holders pretty helpful electronic handbrake i love that auto hold downhill assist lock four wheel drive driving mode you have two driving modes normal and sport mode uh, and then you have the uh, the parking sensors right there the transmission is here seven speed dual clutch transmission then you have here guys look at this 12 volt port two and one usb port very practical some storage space down there then you have here heated seats heated steering wheel it's it's incredible also in the back you have plenty of uh, comfort features and safety features for this price so that's why I really want to review this car because I was impressed with the price then the actually let me start the engine here is the button and you can see how silent is the engine this is one of the thing that i was impressed in this car uh first time it's incredible silent engine uh, now the climatic system it's here you press this climatic button it will get you in a screen like that this is the climatic screen and from here you can choose the vent speed also you can turn it off from here you can choose different things uh, physical you can choose the temperature you can press this button go in auto mode so actually you can 
control the things from here. You don't have a screen here close to the climatic system, but you, you will see it on the, on the multimedia screen. Then going up a little bit, also shortcuts for the multimedia system here. Physical shortcuts for the, for the navigation, also settings for the navigation. You can also add uh, favorite tracks, radio, media here. Look, look at this. And also I like the fact that they use the latest uh, multimedia system from Kia. This is awesome. Also the sound is pretty good inside the car. If you go to... Actually, let me go back. Let me close this because... Yeah. And then you go to setup. This is... You have on the setup, you have all the settings here. I have a full review with this multimedia system already on my channel. If you want to find out everything about it, check out on my channel, Kia Multimedia System. Uh, because in this video, I don't want to make it super long. Uh, all I have to say is that it's a super nice glossy screen and it's pretty responsive. So, for example, you can use also the touch screen right here. You can choose your profile. Then on the second page, you have the map, you have navigation, phone, Kia Life, sound of nature, uh, media, radio, USB video. You can put USB and watch videos and stuff like that on this screen. That's awesome. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you can connect it here. I will make a video about how to connect your Android Auto to the multimedia system. So uh, check out on my channel if you're curious about that. If it's not already on the channel, just click the subscribe to see the notification when the video will come out. Climatic here, you see it already going back. You have the settings here, the most important settings. Sound settings, for example, tune, treble, you can choose different function here going back then you have the navigation um, settings that you can also adjust it from here the display settings voice recognized profile and uh, data and network because you can connect your car to the internet and then yeah I think you already see those uh, I don't think I need to go in every single detail but the map I still want to show you one more time is the latest map that uh, Hyundai and Kia use it as well and it's very good I mean it's very precise you have also 3d buildings 2d um, it's really set as definitely it's, it's really relatively very fast it's loading really fast as you can see here you can choose also the trip start guidance and then it's working super fast I love it also the car can read the traffic speed limit it's incredible in my opinion um, it's in between the five uh, navigation system on the market multimedia system it's great also nice integrated here between those vans soft material here here you have plastic here you have a glow box relatively uh, big as you can see it it's okay and then start stop engine button you already see it the cockpit by the way is the classic kind of a classic one um, you can control it from here from the steering wheel from those buttons uh, it's pretty simple to control it change the different function from here and also down and up just like that it's not the newest s1 probably on the new kia sportage you will see the new cockpit but still it's quite good you have a digital screen in the middle where you can see different options and settings you can change it from there the light the sound you can see the consumption here you can see for example the consumption on the last uh, 6000 kilometer 9.5 liters pretty good consumption for a petrol car depend how they drive at least uh, these demo cars nobody drive it super economical so you can get a uh, better consumption other than that yeah pretty simple from here you can control everything right there and also the driving modes here you have the cruise or limiter cruise control ok button uh, here on the left side you have all the controls for the uh, multimedia system super nice also good quality simple to use I like that how simple it is to use also great grip leather steering wheel pretty simple pretty nice steering wheel but it's nice the size is nice visibility from the driver point of view uh, on the cockpit on the multimedia system is good also you can go to those buttons without any problem right here so yeah I like it I like it up here also this mirror you can see for yourself pretty good visibility in the back mirror right there up here you have a glass support I like this glass support I'm a fan of this glass support right here up on the roof and then you have those lights normal bulb light no LED also here huge mirror and a little small light up there and 
Yeah, guys, I think I show you almost everything. I don't think I have to show you other things. If I miss something, just let me know in the comments. Ask me if you have question about this uh, Kia Sportage style. Uh, also, it's not a brand new car. I really wait with interest the 2022 Kia Sportage to review it. And guys, uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it useful. I hope you get some useful information from this video. If you have questions, ask me anything. I read all your comments and everything. If you like it, give me a like, share. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to see the latest this video that will come on my channel. And uh, also, I will leave the link in the description to the Emil Frey garage. If you want to buy the car, if you want to test it, if you want to find out more technical details, check out. Also, check out our website, sdadancar.com. There you find a lot of articles and news about car and auto industry. Um, also, as a conclusion, uh, the price is incredible good for a compact SUV, city SUV. Um, it's it's great all around there plenty of space in the back i like the practicality it's incredible good i like some great features in the car like heated seats heated steering wheel electric adjustable seats huge space in the back a lot of good quality materials multimedia system it's awesome usb ports electronic handbrake uh, great engine with four wheel drive plenty of power 177 horsepower it's a lot of power and what can i say guys totally recommend it um, i think seven year warranty from kia that's really important seven years you don't care if something happened with the car um, you go and repair it on warranty so yeah pretty reliable this engine also hyundai use it on the the tucson and on the uh, other uh, cars guys i hope you enjoy it please stay safe don't forget to like share subscribe and I guess I see you soon in the next one. By the way, don't forget to see the test drive with this um, Kia Sportage. So I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.